My name is Chris Rathopoulos and I'm here. I'm going to talk about gesso or oil over gesso, acrylic gesso or acrylic paints. So, there, you probably wonder does it ever delaminate? Would it oil ever delaminate off acrylic, acrylic gesso? And the answer is your guess is as good as mine because no one really knows. Probably mainly because, well, oil's only been around, or acrylic's only been around for maybe 60 years now, I think, since the fifth, somewhere in the 50s it came out. So, yeah, about probably over 60 years now, safe to say, I think. And, I mean, the, the only thing we know so far is that the, the binders don't mix together, it doesn't chemically bond. The only way the only way oil seems to hold onto acrylic is enough tooth on the surface, so it could probably create a physical bond that way. I mean, so far, I mean, paintings. I mean, paintings been around on oil paintings been around on acrylic gesso since probably over fifty years so far. But I think the truth is the matter is we don't. It hasn't been long enough yet. I mean, oil takes a look. Well, it takes over 100 years to dry. I mean, it's probably not going to delaminate, who knows, for maybe another 50 years, or maybe it won't, I don't know, depending on which tooth. But if it does, it's probably because, probably not enough tooth, like it's, if it's really a smooth, really smooth surface, probably more likely to. And if it's on a flexible surface, there is a, a more increase in chance that it will, as well. So, I use, um, to make sure it stays on, I use um, coarse molding paste with a bit of gesso, which has a lot, which gives it quite a, some, quite a bit of tooth to work with. And it seems to stay on fairly well, although I've only been doing it for a little while, so, I mean, I don't know what the longevity of, of, it, of it will be, but it seems to be, wor it seems to work for me, so I'm going to continue doing that way. Also, if you use wax, yeah, it's probably going to be delaminate because acrylic wax won't stick to acrylic very well. It will just probably likely delaminate. Anyways, I'm going to talk about, I did some notes here, I have some notes with me. And I'm going to talk about the original gesso, the real gesso, which is known as glue gesso or Italian gesso, which is a mixture of animal glue binder, usually rabbit skin glue, chalk, and white pigment is used to coat rigid surface such as wooden panel and stuff as an exorbitant primer coat which is suitable for painting. The color gessos are usually off-white. It's an oil paint and egg temper can be used. Also you could put gold leaf over gesso as well. It's too brittle. Just was too brittle for wood on flexible surfaces, flexible surfaces such as canvas. To make it more flexible, you would add an emulsion of linseed oil, also called half chalk, which is which is used. So, so original gesso has been around for over five centuries, and it's been used to create a strong bond for oil painting and egg tempera. But of course not very many people use egg tempera anymore. I mean it's probably almost non existent these days. You you'll probably see it once in a while, but anyways next is acrylic gesso. Find out what's what it's made out of here. Acrylic gesso is not technically gesso at all. It is a combination of calcium carbonate with acrylic polymer, latex, a pigment, and other chemicals to ensure flexibility and ensure long archival life. It is sold pre-mixed both for sizing and priming canvas for painting. Well, though oil can bleed through the, the thin coats of gesso, so you probably have to put a few more coats. Acrylic two layers would be efficient. But the thinners, if 
you like apply you know some paint thinner like mineral spirits turpentine it will likely it could likely bleed through the caps I had that happen a lot actually I look on the back and there's all there's like quite a bit of oil bleeding through sometimes not very much at all just depending how thick or thin you paint I'll continue reading here while it does contain calcium carbonate it inc to increase absorbency of the primer coat titanium dioxide or titanium white is often used as a whiting agent this allows to remain flexible enough to be used on canvas high concentrations of calcium carbonate or standard latex components make the resulting firm dry to a surface that is brittle and is acceptable to cracking so that's how it's made basically they add titanium white basically so it increases the flexibility but also oil with the uh, alk resin mediums oil can be a, is a little more flexible and they dry much faster because they have air blown into them and they boil it which makes it dry about by about about half 50 percent faster actually standard oil dries a bit faster than than linseed because they put linse they uh they put it out where it, the sun hits it and they have a little have a little bit of air coming through it and then every day they stir it a little bit and then it, and that's why it has that kind of that's why it's kind of sticky substance a bit because there's a bit of air in it depending on thick and, and thin you paint with it though I mean thicker coats would always take a lot longer to dry Nowadays, it's like you don't seem to have a choice to paint over acrylic gesso when it comes to canvas, for sure, anyway, because all, unless you stretch your own canvas, which most people don't, because, I mean, I don't really have the time to stretch my own canvas, and I don't really care to, to be honest, and like, you don't seem to have a choice, because like all pre-stretched canvases basically come with two coats of acrylic gesso, really thin layers of acrylic gesso, sometimes three. I don't know, depending on which brand you buy. I don't know, I don't really worry about it too much. I just, I'm just here to give you some information. Here, on about a little bit about it. But just keep painting, you know, and have fun with it. I wouldn't worry about it. You know, as long as paintings last longer than I do, I mean, I don't think it matters if my paintings only last maybe 120 years. I mean, I'm not going to be around to care, right? Because <laughs> I'll be dead. Well, anyways, I think that's enough rambling from me. I hope you learned a lot today, and I hope you just keep painting and keep at it. Okay, bye.